Melvin. I was introduced to him by his uh, uncle, you know, Melvin. I mean, uh, uh, Jerry. Uh, Jerry. And, uh, you know, we met in some kind of, in, in sorrowful, a sorrowful kind of a situation, actually. He had just lost his father. So, uh, you know, um, I, I, I do believe a lot that definitely inspired him to really go after God. So I do want to share, it's been amazing to share the, uh, the Word of God with you, to study with you, and uh, just every day, every time we got together after work, he was there. He was always there, always ready, open-hearted, willing to share and ask questions. We always want that in the study, right? Yeah. So we know they're really learning what they need to learn. So that is Melvin, and it's been a privilege to share the Word of God with you, and thank you. I'm so excited for, you know, what is in store, all right? I'm going to share something. Scriptures uh, uh, that really impacts his heart. I'm going to share that with you guys now, okay? Amen. All right, I'm going to get through this. It's in Matthew chapter 6. If you have your Bibles, you can open there or just listen. Start in verse 25 uh, to 34. It says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or, or about your body, what you will wear. Is it not more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or weep or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, as he is, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you uh, of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows what you, knows that you need them. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So this impacts him, um, obviously, in, in in a great way. And that is exactly the example he has left, has shown us a heart where he seeks after God. Uh, just not showing up at the studies, his quiet times, his prayer life, things that have just changed, and just how the challenges uh, of the scriptures in and of itself. He was a smoker, no longer smoke. We just watched God, just his heart just take that away from him, so we're super proud of Melvin. Come on, Melvin. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, young blood. Come on, uncle. <laughs> I, I pretty much know you in all my life, bro. Um, I just appreciate your heart, um, just your eagerness, just to come out and just study um, and not making any, any excuses. Um, let me just Pick put this up. up. Yeah, let me Pick just get this up. up. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And just showing up, you know, and just desiring, you know, and just having a natural born curiosity about God, you know. Um, you know, I'm your uncle, but now you're about to be my brother in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Ultimately, bro, um, do you believe that God, the Son of God, you know, died for your sins and rose from the dead on the third day? And, um, you know, forgive you for your sins as well? <laughs> yes. Um, what is your good confession? Jesus is Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, because of your good confession, I'm not able to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He will, you will receive... Um, you receive forgiveness for your sins and um, the, the on the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's go baptize them. Uh, Nick, if you could come up to lead the next song.
Church, let's have one last prayer, and then we'll let him get changed, okay? Let's bow our heads. Uh, Father in heaven, we thank you for the great miracle of forgiveness and salvation. Yes. We ask, Father, that you be with our brother, Melvin, that you would keep him rooted in prayer and in Bible study and in the friendships that will help him to stay faithful for a lifetime. Yes, God. We know, God, that Satan is angry because he's lost his soul. We know that the angels are rejoicing. I pray that you bless everyone here as we head home. But in a special way, we pray for Melvin and his entire family that your spirit will be with them. We love you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Church, we're all dismissed. Amen.